using the dog bone power adapter. So the RV plug, the RV connector looks like that. But some RV camps, this is called a 50 amp RV plug. It contains two 120 volt 50 amp, 220 volt 50 amp circuits. Some RV parks you may go to, you might only get a 30 amp circuit, or you might get even less than that. Um, probably not an RV park, but maybe when you're camping at, uh, if you're using this at your home or something. So what I have is what's called a dog bone power adapter. I didn't name it. I don't want to explain why it's called that. Maybe at one point they looked like a dog bone. So the dog bone has a female 50 amp plug that will plug into the power. Put this down for a second. Assuming you know how to plug a cord in. And once it's plugged in, what we have is two 30 amp RV plugs. These, this will, if you have two 30 amp circuits at the RV park, this should provide you two 30 amp 120 volt circuits. However, that's not enough to run the whole RV. But you should be able to run both ACs and then shut an AC off if you need to use the um, microwave. That's the t big power users. The other thing is you might have to shut the ACs off if you use the, if you use like a coffee maker. Those are also can be very high power draws. Now, sometimes you very rarely find a campground where you get two 30 amp circuits. And so we have adapters like these that plug in to plug into a regular household type outlet. Put this down again. All right. So now you can see we're at our lowest. This is basically 120 volts at 15 amps. We started out at 120 volts at 50 amps times two. What happens in a lot of campgrounds is you'll have one 30 amp, you may have one 30 amp and one 15 amp. So this allows you to use the 15 amp to get power to the one half of the fuse panel and then the 30 amp to get power to the other half of the fuse panel. If you're running this at home, you may have to use both adapters. As such, and now you have 15, 220 volt, 15 amp connectors. Now keep in mind, when you plug this in at home, you're gonna to need to use a thick extension cord and you'll have to make sure this is plugged into two separate circuits that are on two separate circuit breakers if you're gonna to try to pull 15 amps times 2, 30 amps. If you're only plugging in for um, to keep the battery charged and run the internal lights and stuff, and you're not using ACs, you're not using the, uh, you might, you probably can, if you don't have the ACs on, you can probably use a microwave. I'm not sure you'd be able to use the ACs. You might run a risk of either the, our surge box back here saying the voltage is low and shutting all the power off. Um, anyway, so that's what you have. So that's how you use the dog bone connector.